the most news in the morning period. We say 6 Eastern. Why do you do it? Well, just to cause less harm. And, and one of the things that we do know, and the UN reports that, that uh, a vegan diet is, and, or, or the consumption of animals causes more harm to the environment than all the forms of transportation put together. Since we're talking about the environment, that's right. one thing. And of course, I don't think when they said dominion over the animals, they meant the abuse of 10 billion farm animals every year, which is what we do here in America. So it's just a nice statement. I feel better. My friends report to me that over the last 15 years, I look better. You know, so it's a, it's a big ch uh, change for me, and it's you know, more clarity. And I think that all of us are want to, to be more clear, want to look younger, want to feel better and want to be a, a, a greater contributor to good in, on the planet. Well, you're, you're doing that in so many ways, and just being a vegan is one part uh, of your book. Um, and I, I wanted to just talk about that for a minute, because it's a side of you that I think is um, extremely um, endearing and, and unique. And you had signed this rapper, uh, Jinxta Juvie, to Def Jam. And I know what an inspiration he was to you. He was you know, shot a number of times. He saw his friends die. And he was an inspiration for this book, wasn't he? Yes, I mean, he was. He, you really saw him become a man. Yeah, no, I've seen so many artists you know, grow, and I've been involved in mentoring many artists over the years, and he's one example. He's one who I just took under my wing, like, almost like a son. So he's a, he is a good example. Which moves into um, how you've seen him change and others change through what you've taken on. You actually said you wanted to go to yoga class to check out the girls. And oh, in also, the beginning, yeah. Yeah, but you found the Dharma. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell me how that has changed your life. Well, you're meditating. You're, um, you've sought out this higher truth that's really gone deep into your soul. Well, it's just to recognize what's in you. I mean, in fact, all of us are looking for more stillness for a chance to see the world in its beauty, right? And we're struggling with that. I mean, we have all these things that separate us. So the meditation slows the world out just a bit. The physical practice of yoga is part of that same process. All of us are searching, and so when you, when you find a path that suits you, you know, whether it's uh, making church or, you know, whether it's your, your temple or your synagogue or your mosque, whatever it is, it's, it's a path down the same road, you know, and all of us are trying to get there. And, and yoga, for me, has been a very helpful practice 